All right, uh, the awesome ninja on the real slackers group uh, asked me something about uh, stretching UVs on a cylinder that's getting bigger. So let's get that going real quick. This isn't really a super tutorial or whatever, but it should just be enough for him to understand what's going on. That should be enough. And it's only with that part. The middle part I don't need. Second, let me add the slice somewhere. There we go. And now just unwrap it. This is just the same as a palp map, in case you're wondering. So, can do this, get it straight, and let's be sure that all the vertices are divided evenly along the horizontal edge. If the ones do, it's acting weird again. It sometimes does that for some reason. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Oh, 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 silly Max. I'll oh, guess this will sort of do for now. Because I don't feel like explaining all that stuff. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Let's get it going without any padding. There, and since it's only this part, I could make it a bit bigger. Mm, let's see. Grid size of 16 should work. Okay, why is it ignoring? Oh man, I mean, it's one of those videos Max says. Okay, snap here. Snap this at the bottom. Keep going almost there. And just to be sure that it's on grid, this part. Stop checking, yeah. Alright, and now move it all back to the top. Here we go. Collapse all. Now I need to get Photoshop real quick. And getting the texture going. Still one to four for now. Make it black. Sixteen lines and just let's add some words in the top one. These are words and then uh, words. Long words, short words, but mainly words. Words, blurts, smarts, slow. Low. Let's make it. Doesn't need to be perfect for this example, so there we go. I'm going to keep that middle line empty for now, but you can also use something there, of course, which is for the example. Um, save as desktop works. 
not what save. There we go, no compression. And now put it on go. I can export this. Also, it does top for now. There we go. And now we'll get this here in the content browser on the screen. Then put the mesh. Import the texture. And let's get going. I'm going to use the mesh as a preview. There, the text there. Let's make the most fancies. There. Now, um, mesh size, where are you? I need to f find this one because I haven't used it in a while. It's probably a math or coordination. Um, Object radius might actually be the one, not sure. Okay. Oh yeah, I now remember what it was. It's not object radius, it's object scale. Yeah, it's the one. Uh, Need a factor line for that. Another one. There. Normal scale is 111, of course. There we go. And the x, y, and z goes into this one. You could also append x and y probably in this case, but this should be fine, I think. If not, I can fix it. Then I need to divide the factor of 3 length with these. And then, uh, let's see. And that should actually do it, I think. Okay, that I'll change later. I'm going to test it out first in the preview. Content browser and get the machine. It's quite small. Okay, I need to change a few little things. Uh, it should only affect the EU channel, horizontal one. So I'm gonna um, component mask. This and get another component mask for the green channel. Pan those, I think. I'm doing works correct. Now slowly adding more and more words depending on the size. Yeah, 
Let me give it a better color so you can actually see what's going on. Or better yet, let me just delete the freaking skybox thing. There we go. And uh, let's say, oh, wrong one. Um, we have this, U tiny is 0.5, it should have bigger words. Save. Here we go, looks a bit better. And yeah, if you want to have an offset for other words in the center, um, that's going to be mask G. And we can do an add for that. There, and scalar value, I think. Um, let's. We should have used different words for that Photoshop thing, so let's do something real quick. Um, I like this guy, you should know what's going on. Content browser again, import the words. Somewhere in there, but I don't know the exact value. Yay. Uh, um, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'll need to find that real quick. Okay, better idea than just random guessing. Convert into a parameter. Call offsets. Go to the material, UV mesh resize, this this one, great material instance. Hello parameter. Go. And also get the mesh. Why am I always getting the wrong content browser? Come on. Mm -hmm. There you go. And now we should be able to get the second word here. That's the one, right? The gray should be highlighted, but maybe something's off. Um, just to be sure, let's just get a color going, because it's getting annoying. And save that. Back to the content browser. Reimport. Probably do past the mask being annoying. Yeah. And I used this instead of that. Okay. Now it should work properly. There we go. So for each line of words, you can now uh, do an offset. 0.125 as soon as you guess this right. And um, where's the material? Actually, you don't have to. If I save this and actually apply the instance now on this, you have the blue words and they scale when you go bigger. And less words when it gets smaller. Better visible with the white ones. 
more words get that when it's get bigger. Okay, well that's basically all you need. So to reiterate, you need a cylinder, probably with a little bit more polygon so that the words don't get cut off like here. Make sure that in the UV map, make it bigger. The this is aligned on properly, so it's seamless horizontally. And in my case, I made sure that there are 16 iterations on the downward, so you have 16 lines of words you can use. And when you export that, then your material should look like this. Let me make it closer for you so you can see what's going on. You can use different values for the text coordinates, whatever you feel like it, of course. And offset is handy for the horizontal, uh, the vertical uh, sentences. And whatever you output here, you can also add more stuff to it before you go into this input. So let's make it a bit better visible so you can actually see what's going on. And that's the whole setup.